Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. Yo, man, Space Dandy. Like, like, what? what's happening? Like, half the time, I can't even comprehend what's happening. I watched the two episodes twice, and I really had a hard time comprehending what in the name of Zeus... What in the name of Thor is going on? Because it is so... It is fast-paced. It really is. But that's not the main reason why I can't really comprehend what's going on. The main reason why is because there's so much stuff going on at one given point in time. There really is. All I understand is that he's a he, that he's a dandy in space. I don't know what a dandy is. I mean, no, no. Apparently, it has something to do with like hunting aliens, and I doubt that's actually it. But whatever. The thing here is that he's an alien hunter, and he goes around the universe looking for aliens, and he has to register these aliens to some kind of to, to some people. I don't know. And he gets paid for that. And the thing here is that episode one just blew my mind. Because episode one, there was the whole restaurant thing, which was funny. And the thing about that whole sequence of him meeting the cat thing, the the alien species, I don't know what the hell it's called. The belly you go, I don't know. And his name is Mario. His name is Mario. Like, I'm almost, it's weird. But it's funny because the way they go about it, Dandy, he seems like a real cool dude, but he's not. <laughs> he seems really cool, but he's not cool at all. And it is so random. That's the main thing. It's hilarious because it's random. It is so random. And when it came to the end of episode one, where he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. When you click on that, it blows up the planet. I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, bro, dude, what in the name of God just happened? Space Dandy. Episode 2 was even weirder. Because episode 2, it was like they were just going around. And then it was like, he was putting the cat thing. He's like not part of their team. He's part of their squad. And he's like posting this stuff online. Like, he's telling people like where they're located. And then they wind up being hunted down by like Dr. Gel's like armada. And apparently there's like two main armies fighting each other. Or two main armadas. And like the head honcho of like the go low something. Some like big skull dude some big skull dude he's just like yeah like you know like, go find him man yeah he's like yeah i got you i'm like wait what's the pause hold up like the first episode when they go to this random wormhole and it's called something like unique and they put on this thing called the cosmic string i'm like what the fuck like it, it's it's so random i can't even do like my first impressions i'm just weirded out I, that's all I can say. When it came to episode two, and it was the ramen, like the phantom ramen, and then like the guy explains how apparently, like the the owner of the shop, he explains how apparently he had some traumatic shit go down his life. He burned his own like woman. He and it, she was dead. I'm like, what the? F it, it was weird. It was weird, bro. And apparently, eating ramen changed his life. It was. And ramen's like universal. <laughs> ramen's universal. It's like they have it everywhere. Yo. Yo. It's weird. It's very weird. Oh my god. So, will I review it? Probably not. I'll be very honest. I, I'm not going to review because I can't comprehend the episodes because I like going deep analytical, but I can't comprehend half this stuff. I really can't because it's it, it's too random. It's just like fuck it, man. Like this series is just a fun, upbeat, joyous, you know, crazy series. You're best watching this stuff high. 
Colorado, good for you. But it's just that right now in New York, you can't smoke weed legally, obviously. So I can't just puff the magic and then start enjoying space dandy. Yeah, that's not how it works. So unfortunately for me, I'm not going. I don't see me reviewing it. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, if I did, my reviews would be like less than like three minutes a pop, and I'd just say, "What the fuck happened?" I have no idea. Now, maybe at some point they may get, because they kind of went a little bit deep with the whole ramen thing in episode two, but episode one was just a like when they got to the random planet. And it was just all these creatures like duking it out. Like at some point there was some like weird like three section like like what's that bug called? Like a giant like rolly like a like a rolly bug thing. Like it turns into a ball like it rolls around. Yeah, it was like one of those giant ones, but like, it was like three sections and shit. Takes out like three creatures, then like some armored like metal dude comes out of nowhere. Punches the ground, dandy and like the cat are stuck on the ground, they just pop back up like yeah. I'm like, wait, pause. Dude, like, yo, it's 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 insane. It's insane. Like Dandy's dream was to own like all the restaurants in the universe or some or some crazy shit like that. And and honestly, I like it. I just can't comprehend it, alright? So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me just talk about the things that I can't comprehend. The animation is superb. It really is beautiful animation. It is sharp. It is fluid. It is dynamic. Very dynamic. Very colorful. Which surprised me. It's very colorful. There's a whole... You got the rainbow in your face every damn scene. Seriously. So, it's beautiful. It really is. When it comes to the pacing, it's very fast paced. But at the same time, the structure is just random. There is no order to this. There is no order. It is just here's all this shit. We're gonna throw in your face. Go. <laughs> like episode one, the dude ship, Dr. Gel, who was supposed to hunt down Dane, apparently Dane's like really important. He's like the quote-unquote key to the universe. Dr. Joe was supposed to hunt him down and capture him. And his shit blew up. And he's right back. Episode 2. The same they have with Andy. And they get thrown in his face. I'm like, yo, you guys aren't supposed to breathe. Like, it's, 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 like here you were episode 1 saying how you couldn't breathe. Or he was worried about him not, not being able to breathe. In episode 1. On the planet. And episode 2. He gets thrown into space and he's a okay, and somehow randomly winds up back in the ship. So it's one of those series where it's just random. There's no order. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable, and I do like it. It's funny, but can I review it? I can't review it. I can't comprehend. It's that simple. So I'm done. Can't lightning. My first impressions of Space Dandy. I may do like a midway impressions and then do like an overall series review. I'll do something like that because that I think would be better off. As opposed to doing episode by episode by, by episode review for this particular series. So I'm done. I will see you guys later. Be sure, of course, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. Dundee Space. And when they go to the restaurants, they're like aliens. With like, well, first of all, why why is it like other aliens find like human females attractive? That's weird. That's number one. Number two, there's like girls that are like green skinned and like have like four titties it, it's weird it, it throws you off it, 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 i get it because there's like different species that exist in the universe that makes perfect sense but like why are breasts the sexual objects of the entire universe <laughs> like what the fuck